Hello and welcome to Anchor. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. And let me explain to you why. There's a creation tool that's located within the Anchor app, which will allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or your computer. And then Anchor will distribute your podcast for you. That's also one of the perks of using Anchor. And then your podcast could be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can make money from the podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need in one place, which is in the Anchor app. So if you want to get started, and again, it's totally free, then download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started today. Hello and welcome back to Life As It Is with me, Dora Middleton. And in this segment, I've been talking about Robert Sylvester Kelly, known as R. Kelly. And the reason why I decided to do this segment is because I just watched the other half of the uh, little documentary they did on all the women that has come up against him regarding the rape charges or all the charges that they've brought up against him for the fact that he was having uh, sexual relationships with these underage girls. And I wanted to point out that I believe that the parents are just as guilty as he is. I am a parent, okay, of three girls. And I would never, ever allow anyone to take my kids and move them into my into their home. My kids move into a grown man's home. Even my son, I would never allow that to happen. There's no grown woman out there that could say, well, I'm going to move him in with me like hell you are. You know, we as parents have got to do better with our children. I am so protective over my kids, probably overprotective, but I don't think there's a such thing if you really want to know. I'm not going to let anyone get close enough to me or my children or my grandchildren to do anything to harm any of us. And we have a duty as parents and grandparents to watch over what belongs to us. And it just saddens me because these parents were so starstruck that they were okay with these girls going to stay with this grown ass man, a pedophile at that. There have been rumors of him being with underage women. He was with the R&B singer Aaliyah that was underage and he married her. Okay. But people didn't care. Parents didn't care. These parents were so happy. Well, R. Kelly wants to, you know, help my daughter with her singing and this, that, and other. No, he wanted to do help himself to your daughter's body. He didn't give a damn about her singing. It was her body. This young, tender little girl that he was able to get to all of these little girls. And I fought the parents. I know a lot of people might not um, agree with what I'm saying, but I think the parents are just as guilty as R. Kelly. You put your kids in the hands of a pedophile. And like I stated earlier in the show, if you were going to put your hands in, put your kids in the hands of this pedophile, it's like you might as well just go set her in a corner and tell someone that's selling children for human, for uh, sex trafficking, hey, here's here's my child. Or or the pimp that's looking for new new women to put on the street. Oh, here, here, here's, here's the daughter. I mean, because that's what you did. You all put your daughters in this pedophile's hands And now you want to say, oh, well, he violated my daughter and he did this and he did that. And I hate him and I this and that. But you weren't hating him when he probably gave you money or your lavish trips. You weren't hating him when you thought you were going to get the come up by using your daughter's beauty or your or your daughter to to try to get something out of this man. Because all of you parents had an agenda. Let's be honest. Okay, you can sit here in candy coat and or, or pretend or or lie and say, Well, this is we didn't think that this was gonna happen. Come on now. You knew that man wanted those little girls. That's how pedophiles roll. The younger the better for them. 
You knew this man wasn't going to help these girls do a damn thing. It, he were, This man was collecting these babies to have them as his play toy. And all of the parents put them in his lap. Okay? You gave your daughters to him. You, you took your, some of you took your daughters to the man. Dropped them off and said, okay, just take care of my daughters. Take care of my, put, you left your daughters with this man. Like he was really going to take care of your daughters. He took care of them, but not in the way that you were thinking. Okay. And I, I kind of think, just stop with all the different, um, segments of this life with R. Kelly or whatever it is that, that you guys have put on television because I'm really tired of it. Surviving Kelly. Surviving R. Kelly. Because people like me that's not, you know, stupid to all of this nonsense, we know what happened. You guys were, you were, you were fame chasing. You wanted what you thought this man could give you all in your daughters. Fame. Money. Isn't that sad that you, you gave your 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 daughters away to try to gain something? And I don't give a damn how you say that's not true. You know, we thought he was going to do this. We thought he was going to do that. You knew he wasn't going to do anything. This man didn't show you all that he was going to do anything to help your daughters. Nothing. And to sit here and listen to these girls say how this man violated them made me sick. It was disgusting. They're not even my daughters and it brought tears to my eyes. Just the thought that someone's child was out there being violated in the ways that this man violated them. And it just made me so angry because all I could think was what kind of fucking parents did these little girls have mother and father in some of these homes. And as a father, you should have been, I'm going to say it again. You should have been breaking down every damn door. You had to break down and go get yours out of there. And there is nothing that you should have let stop you. I don't give a damn about what they had security. Oh, honey, trust me. Security would have moved out of my way or they would have been laid the fuck out. Because I was going in there in whatever way I needed to go in there to get mine out and would have dealt with the consequences on a later date. You understand what I'm saying? It wouldn't have been nothing or no one that could have kept me from getting what was mine out of there. But see, I, I'm here to tell you right now, mine would have never been in that shit. Never. My kids are, are basically grown up. And if I even think that you even side eye and mine, or having thoughts of doing anything of mine, I'm gonna bring it to your attention. I don't know what the hell you think of it, but you better step your ass on off because it ain't gonna happen with mine. That's the attitude I have, okay? I, I'm like, I, I protect mine. I don't give a damn who says what. Dora is gonna protect what belongs to her. And there's no way in hell I would go. I would have went and put mine in a pedophile's hand. There's no way I would have went and dropped mine off with some man. And I, I'm angry. And, and like I said, I know people aren't going to, they're, they're not going to like what I'm saying. I know a lot of people are not going to like, they're not going to like this, these videos that I've done on um, Robert Kelly, R. Kelly. They're not going to like it. They're not going to like the fact that I said that the parents are... At fault, which they are, and I'm not going to bite my damn tongue. Yes, I fought them because as parents, we're here to protect our children. We're here to protect our grandchildren, and none of these girls were protected. They were put right in the pedophile's hands so that he could violate them each and every fucking day in any way that he wanted to. And not a parent decided to go bust their kids out of that damn house. They should have.
house from that pedophile. So while you're doing all these interviews and, and uh, you know, all the, the, the tears, everyone's crying. I think the parents, again, should be locked the hell up right next to R. Kelly. Every mother, every father, because they failed the kids and the damn system failed the children as well. There's no way this man should have beat the charges when he beat it the first time. And there's no way all of these people didn't know what was going on. Every one of these record companies, all of these people know they knew what was going on. And a lot of these people are hidden pedophiles themselves. So they, of course, they didn't care because they're pedophiles. They're rapists. A lot of these producers been raping boys, raping girls. You know, you're you're going to the casting couch to audition for whatever role you're trying to audition for. And they're telling you, okay, well, you give us what we want. You get the role. So you're coming in there. They're telling them, okay, uh, have sex with me and I'll give you this role. What kind of sick shit is that? I mean, we know what it's about. I, I talked about it in the segment when I was 19, when I graduated. And when I got out of school, I moved to... um California and I talk about how I auditioned for a role that they wanted to give me but then they turned around after they saw me and I guess saw my curves or whatever at 19 I'll I'll give you this role but I want full nudity I said that this role didn't call for full nudity that's okay I just changed it that's what I want and at 19 years old I told him well you know what I don't accept so you can keep the role I didn't do it You know, when I look at the movie, I'm like, wow, huh, this woman you didn't even put on screen. Any part of her was nude. Not one part of this woman was nude. You put her in a gown. But when you met me, because I had, I get, and then I was told, well, women are killed for this position we're trying to give you. Why, why don't you want to show your body? You have a beautiful body. Yes, it was my beautiful body that I didn't want to share with everybody else everywhere and I turned it down so that's why I'm saying you know I can't say everyone is strong as me but I can't say I knew right from wrong and I wasn't going to do that okay so these women were able to say no more I'm not doing this when they realized what they were there for I don't care what you had to do to get out that damn house you should have tried to get out your parents should have tried to get in to get you the hell out of there. And you all should have tried every day of your damn life to get the hell out of there. And I'm not blaming the victim. I am not blaming these little girls. I'm just saying that we are taught from an early age not to let anyone touch us the wrong way. Not to do this, not to do that. I taught my kids that. My mama taught me that. My parents taught me that. So why is it that... It seems like no one was doing what they were taught to do. I'm sure the parents of these children was taught the same damn thing. Don't let anyone touch you the wrong way. Don't let anyone do this to you. So why were they okay letting someone violate their kids? And why the hell were you okay taking your child to the pedophile to be violated? So basically the reason why I did this segment is because I wanted to let people know the parents aren't innocent. And I'm tired of people making it seem like they are innocent. They're not innocent. They gave those kids away, hoping that those kids were going to come up on the come up, okay? They were hoping that those kids were going to, these girls were going to end up famous by being on on this man's arm and, and meet probably more celebrities or get in where they could fit in so that they can also get hold of some type of money because that was their daughter. So come on now, people. We're not idiots here. And I think that everyone needs to open up their eyes and see that the parents gave these girls to this man. You gave the the girls to the damn pedophile. But no, I'm not blaming those little girls because they were failed by their parents. And they were also failed by the justice system because he should have been stopped a long time ago. 
but he kept beating these damn charges. And now they finally want to stick it to him. And everyone wants to make it seem like, oh, we were trying, we were trying to do this. You all didn't try hard enough. You did not try hard enough to protect these girls. So there's a lot of fault to go around to a lot of different people. Okay? So please, people, protect your children. Do not use your children as a pawn. Do not use your child as a way to make your money. Don't feed your child to the damn wolves so that you can have a come up. Okay? Please remember that. Take care of what you brought here. Protect your children. Protect your grandchildren no matter what. And don't let them end up in a situation like these poor children did. These girls, will their lives would never be the same because now they're emotionally screwed up because of the things that he did to them. Some of them he's left with STDs that they can't get rid of. So they're going to always be in therapy because of what the things that this pedophile did to them. So please, any woman that's thinking about doing something like this again, any parent, think twice, okay? And remember, it's not worth it. The fame and that come up like that is not worth it, okay? I would like to thank you all for listening to this segment um, on Mr. Robert Sylvester Kelly, known as R. Kelly. And um, all I can say is just do better, people. Do better as parents, okay? All right, people, until next time, take care.